Hey, it's Mark here with The Thoughtful Gamer, and I have another three impressions, three questions, this time for Curious Cargo, uh, the two-player version of Pipeline, sort of. It's by the same designer, Ryan Courtney, of Pipeline, but in, in, and has some similarities, but also some very, very significant differences. Now, I love Pipeline. I think it's a fantastic game, and I had heard really good things about this uh, kind of adaptation of it for two-player small box uh, game. And so I picked it up recently and got to play it, and I was actually surprised by how different it was. Three Impressions, Three Questions is my first impressions format where I look at the three first impressions of the game, things that stuck out to me as I played it for the first time, and then three questions are the things I'm going to be thinking about going forward playing the game more. Before I get into my first impression though, as a reminder, please subscribe. I'm almost to 500 subscribers, just a couple more. And if you'd like to support what I do, go to patreon.com slash the thoughtful gamer. Now let's go into the first impression I had of Curious Cargo, and that is that it is all about the pipes. Now if you played Pipeline, you know that creating this labyrinthine system of pipes that transport different things to different places is a big part of that game. However, it's about 50%, I'd say, of Pipeline. The other half is a worker placement kind of game in, a, in an economizing game. Curious Cargo is like 80% about the pipes, 90% about the pipes. That's almost primarily what you're going to be doing is setting up a system uh, where you are connecting the sides of your player board, a player board that can look something like this right here. You're connecting the sides to these little devices here with pipe tiles uh, that never go where you want them to go. And there's two ways to set up the game. There's one where you're doing, you're, you're moving two different types of cargo and a more advanced version where you use three types of cargo, but it's really about setting up a very efficient system of moving these these cargo pieces of both shipping them off and then receiving them when they come down on the other side of your board. But it's also, I think, about adapting very quickly to what's coming. You're not going to be actually moving that much product in Curious Cargo. And so each individual unit that you're able to capture is really, really important. But it's all about the pipes. My second impression is that the trucks are also really significant in a more subtle way. So it seems like a big part of the game is about the pipes and it is, but I think after more plays, utilizing trucks like this one is going to be the difference maker when you have two very skilled opponents against each other. At least that's what I'm guessing. Uh, because what happens is when you're moving your product, you have cards that can affect the trucks that go out on this side and pick up or send out rather, they take the cargo that you have loaded onto the trucks coming from your processing area into one of these stations, like the trucks line up kind of like this. So you, they go to particular spots. However, when, as you shuffle trucks along and they get pushed up and pushed off your board, they then go to your opponent's board on the other side and if they have a connection at the correct numbers with the correct type of pipe they get to then receive those goods and receiving goods is way more points than shipping off goods and they can be that can be really really powerful part of the game so being able to really nimbly and strategically make it so that you are able to utilize the trucks that are moving about and your opponent specifically is not able to utilize those trucks, I think at high level play, it seems like that could be the difference maker. Because after a while, I think you'll understand what kind of pipe structure you want to set up or, or the most efficient ways to do that. And then it's really about this interaction with the trucks, which I, I think is very compelling. My third impression of Curious Cargo is that the scoring is very, very odd. There's a couple of criteria. First of all, you have to ship off at least two of each type of good to even qualify for the win. If you don't do that, you cannot win the game. So it's entirely possible that a game could end, I believe, with no one winning. I don't remember. Depending on how the game ends, triggers happen, 
anyways, there's that. Then there are three ways to get stars. And if you get stars, and that's basically basically by maxing out one of these things that you're trying to do, uh, you can win the game just on stars. But I think most commonly, it's going to be a tie on stars with both people having zero of them. And then it's going to come down to points. I don't know how well I'll be able to internalize the significance of the scoring system. It may take a good number of plays to do that. I found it very odd. I'm sure there are good reasons why the scoring is the way it is, but it does seem a little convoluted. Now let's move on to the questions. What am I going to be thinking about as I continue to play Curious Cargo? Uh, and I am going to continue playing it because I was very intrigued by my first play. The first question is that, will this game require AP? Will it essentially require analysis paralysis to figure out what the best move is? Now, my first play, my pipe system was a mess. I just took the pieces. I did my best with it. It was not efficient at all. I think after a few plays, laying down the pipe segments in a very efficient, clean manner will become easier. The other aspects of the game, particularly with the trucks and with the tokens and the way they interact with your opponent, I think especially for people prone to analysis paralysis, could be an issue. Now, I'm not necessarily prone to it, but I don't like games that make me feel bad when I don't sit there for minutes on and figuring it out. Sometimes if there's an expectation, you know, with you and your opponents that that's going to be the kind of game you're going to play, it can work out. And maybe Curious Cargo is a game like that, that you have to just sit there and dedicate time to, to really get the full experience. I don't know. I'm curious about that. I said curious. I promised myself I wouldn't say curious because of the pun potential, but I did it anyways. My second question is that, is the pace of the game fulfilling? Now, in my first play, I don't think either me or my opponent use the tokens that kind of accelerate the game as you play very efficiently. And still, it felt really slow at the beginning and really, really fast at the end. It accelerated so rapidly. And then before we knew it, the game was over. I'm curious, again, I said curious again, I'm wondering if... It's always going to feel like that as I play or if I will become more acclimated to just the particular pace of the way this game accelerates in how much you can get done in a given round. My third and final question is that will I ever want to play Curious Cargo over Pipeline at two players? Because I think Pipeline is perhaps best at two players. So having a kind of sequel that's two player only is a bit odd. I don't know if... I'll ever really want to do Curious Cargo over a pipeline. I think it has the potential to be quicker, but given my first question about analysis paralysis, is that even the case? A game of pipeline with two people who know what you know know the game well can go by really quick. So I'm wondering if there's something about Curious Cargo that will bring me back time and time again when I could be playing Pipeline, which has all the fun, puzzly stuff with the pipes, but also a really compelling action efficiency, uh, worker placement type game on top of it that I enjoy very much. Either way, I'm going to be, I'm going to have a lot of fun, I think, playing Curious Cargo a few more times, and I plan to review it in the future. Those are my first impressions and three questions that I'll be thinking about as I play Curious Cargo more. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game, if you have played it a lot, and what your experience has been. How does it compare to Pipeline? Uh, what do you see as it standing out and di differentiating itself from its earlier cousin? I'm curious to hear what you all think. Thanks again uh, for watching. As always, uh, you can see everything I do at thethoughtfulgamer.com. Videos like this, podcasts, written reviews, other written articles. I've written a lot lately about uh, board game criticism and how we evaluate games uh, that I think a lot of people are finding interesting. So check that out. If you'd like to support me, go to patreon.com slash thethoughtfulgamer and definitely hit subscribe. Maybe you'll be the 500th subscriber. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.